a loss of libido. This has to be one of the most common symptoms reported by women. Well, the ovary and the adrenal glands make testosterone as well as making estrogen. And after, during the menopause, the levels can start to really drop. Um, so a lot of women complain about low libido, which can have a big impact on how they feel about themselves and in their relationship and so on. Um, and we have a lot of women coming and asking us about testosterone replacement. And of course, testosterone is as much a female hormone as it is a male hormone. We just have smaller quantities of it. And uh, we have, I think, four times as many uh, testosterone receptors as we do estrogen receptors, I'm sure. Oh, sure. Well. I mean, women actually so, produce uh, three times more testosterone than they do estrogen. Yeah, so we need to, we need to support that mm. as women go through the menopause and post-menopause with some testosterone supplementation. Yeah. And it's great stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, one of my old uh, consultant colleagues, uh, John Studd, always used to refer to heart, head, and hormones. Um, mm. So it is, you know, complex history, and it may not be just to do with hormones, but certainly what we need to do with, as healthcare professionals is mm. tick that box and make sure that if it is due to testosterone uh, deficiency, that it is replaced appropriately. Mm. Um, the tricky thing is actually finding the preparations with which to do it, and mm. unfortunately, there aren't currently any preparations which are licensed for that indication uh, in the UK for women. Uh, however, we're working on that and we hope that in the near future there will be. In the meantime, what we do is we use lower doses of the male gels, for mm. instance, in a female dosage. And as long as you stick to the right dose, uh, I don't have anyone come back with yeah. any beards or moustaches or anything yeah. like that. Um, it's actually rare for there to be side effects. And one of the, the, the side effects is an energy boost as well, not just through flagging libido, but general more energy, so therefore women feel more capable of exercising and pushing themselves further. It can have a very big positive effect, actually, because mm -hmm. it can increase their energy, their stamina, um, their muscles respond better to exercise, um, it can affect the limbic part of their brain, which is their get up and go, their enthusiasm, their mm -hmm. joie de vivre. Uh, so they become less tearful and more engaged um, mm -hmm. and a little bit more cheeky, which is always nice. Um, and, uh, and their sex drive can improve. It also improves the sensitivity of the vulva and the clitoris. Yeah. So when they're touched, it feels nicer. It's easier to achieve orgasms generally. And they're more intense, which is, you know, mm. going back to perhaps turning the clock back slightly. Mm. Um, and that's more fun. And so therefore that yeah. feeds into the libido as well. Yeah. If, if their um, you know, hormone levels are within the normal range and everything, then perhaps they need to think about their partner. <laughs> they are in a relationship. Well, that's <laughs> right. I mean, that, that, that's, your, that's your terms of HRT, husband yeah. yes. and replacement therapy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, but, but I've had, um, but I've had many women come back to me and say, yeah, I feel much more energetic and that the stamina is really important. Women who used to run marathons, um, you know, can go back to doing that, triathlons, um, Ironman competitions, even I, I had somebody yeah. who said that she completed an Ironman, so you know it is, it, it is remarkable what is, what is possible. And, and people can feel more like themselves, you know, because that's part of who we are, we are our mm. hormones basically, yeah. and when you get them more into balance, they get themselves back, mm. which is lovely, because it's a horrible feeling to lose yourself. Yeah. Which is another hugely yeah. common symptom. Yeah.